There are many reasons that people have created specific breeds of dogs. Some are meant to serve as companions and live a life of luxury, while others have been bred to bring down fearsome beasts. If you intend to take off into the dangerous unknown, we'll show you the dogs you'd most want at your side while you do so. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, so make sure you stay up to date with the latest from the riches by hitting the subscribe button and turning on your notifications. Rhodesian Ridgeback Let's start off with one of the most well-known dogs that was bred to fight wild animals, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. These dogs are also known as African Lion Hounds, and as the name implies, they were bred in order to stand up to the fearsome giant cats. Original historical mentions of these dogs in the 17th century weren't very flattering and described the dogs as ugly but ferocious. We think they're adorable, especially their little ridge of fur on their backs that they get their name from. These dogs had serious work to do in the harsh land of South Africa, and they were known for doing their jobs well. In addition to hunting lions, they were also tasked with protecting livestock and humans from predators. The secret to these dogs' success against lions is in working together as a pack. One lone dog doesn't stand a chance against a lion, but a pack of five or six is able to get the job done while working together. They were also used to hunt other games such as wild pigs and baboons. These dogs are known for their athleticism and can be rather imposing for those that aren't familiar with the breed. To their people, they're known to be incredibly protective. Dogo Argentino like the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Dogo Argentino, also known as the Argentine Mastiff, works best when hunting in a pack. These massively muscular canines can stand up to 27 inches tall and weigh almost 100 pounds. These dogs haven't been around for very long, and their lineage is traced back to 1928 when the Cordoba Fighting Dog was bred with other breeds including Great Danes. The Cordoba Fighting Dog is now extinct, but they were known to be incredibly muscular and aggressive. They were relentless and were known to even turn on their packmates from time to time. Antonio Norris Martinez, who came up with the Dogo Argentino, wanted to maintain the power of the Cordoba Fighting Dog, but combine it with a less aggressive nature. Dogo Argentinos were created primarily for big game hunting, but were also bred to have a protective nature, so they are willing to protect their humans bravely in the face of danger. Unlike many other dogs bred for similar work, Dogo Argentinos tend to get along well with other breeds of dogs, which makes them a suitable pet in even urban settings. Despite this, owning one is banned in many places, including Ukraine, Denmark, Iceland, Fiji, Singapore, and the Cayman Islands. Love watching our videos but looking for a more ad-free browsing experience? Take your video viewing to the next level and sign up for the Premium Network. You'll get the first peek at the newest content from not only the richest, but Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many more. Thousands of your favorite videos in one place is a no-brainer. Click here to be the first in line for the premium. Cane Corso The Cane Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, is an extremely muscular breed of dog that is known for its massive head and enormous jaws. They stand about 28 inches tall and weigh up to 110 pounds. These dogs have long been prized in their native Italy for their skills as a companion, guard dog, and of course, hunting. These dogs are known to be extremely protective of their families, and their appearance is enough to intimidate most people or beasts wishing to do ill. Cane Corsos are descended from dogs used by the Romans in times of war. They were bred to take down fierce wild boars and also catch cattle and pigs on their owners' farms. If you're looking for protection, the Cane Corso has a long history of being personal bodyguards and keeping their human charges safe during frightening times. They are eager to please their owners and respond well to training, so they're pleasures to work with and own. They carry themselves in an assertive manner and are constantly alert to potential danger. Bull Terriers Bull Terriers are easily identified by their unique facial structure and there are many instances of them in pop culture. Bullseye, the beloved target mascot, is a Bull Terrier, as is Sparky, the star of Frankenweenie. These dogs are incredibly friendly and love to play, although some people are intimidated by their appearance. They're renowned as remarkable companions, but they're still capable of defending their owners from beasts. Their bodies are incredibly muscular and their jaws are both deep and strong. They were bred in order to hunt rats and for fighting in pits for entertainment. Bull Terriers have very well-developed prey instincts and work well on their own rather than depending on a pack in order to bring down their opponent. 
Despite this, their temperaments are not known to be aggressive, and in tests they have been found to be as easygoing and non-aggressive as golden retrievers. They do tend to be independent, so early and firm training practices are needed if you hope to tame one of these remarkable dogs. Unlike many other dogs, they rarely bark and only do so for good reason, so if your bull terrier starts barking, you'll definitely want to pay attention. Bull Mastiff You can tell that the Bull Mastiff is an incredible dog for protection just based on its size alone. Few humans or beasts would want to tangle with one of these humongous dogs. On average, they stand between 25 and 27 inches high and weigh between 110 to 130 pounds, but considerably larger examples of the breed do exist. These dogs were bred to work hard guarding estates in the mid-1800s, and they became known as the Gamekeeper's Night Dog. Not only will these dogs protect you from beasts, but they'll protect your beasts from poachers as well. They've been known to serve on game preserves as a deterrent to would-be poachers. These dogs were made by crossing bulldogs with larger and less aggressive mastiffs. They were bred for their strength, size, and speed. Even their preferred color, Brindle, was strategically created in order to provide them better camouflage. Their protective instincts are so strong that you don't need to worry about them knowing what to do in a dangerous situation. They'll do everything possible to make sure that their families are safe. In addition to being fearsome and intimidating guard dogs, they're also eager to please their people. We know that size doesn't always matter when it comes to a good guard dog, but sometimes the extra bit of intimidation sure does help. The Guinness Book of World Records named a Great Dane called Zeus the tallest dog in the world. Just how tall was Zeus from paw to shoulder? We'll reveal the answer at the end of our video. Verbal the Verbal, or South African Mastiff, is a massive dog breed that hails from South Africa. Like the Bull Mastiff, they were bred for the purposes of guarding property. The Verbal is said to be one of the most powerful breeds of dog, and it's certainly one that we wouldn't want to mess with. It's thought that they were bred by mixing native African dogs with ones brought by Dutch, French, and British settlers. Because of their size, protective nature, and stable temperament, these dogs are highly sought after all over the world. Due to being bred in Africa, they're used to contending with large predators such as lions and coming out on top. These dogs so love being with their humans that they've earned the nickname Velcro Dogs because they always want to be by your side. If you're in danger, a loyal burble would sooner lay down its life than let anything happen to you. Although they love their people, they do need firm training to avoid them being aggressive towards strangers or other dogs. They're illegal to own in many places, including France, Malaysia, Qatar, Bermuda, and Denmark. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu, or Japanese Mastiff, is a rare breed that was created to be a fighting dog. It hails from the Japanese province of Tosa, which is now known as Kochi. They vary wildly in size, and those bred in Japan tend to be smaller than dogs bred elsewhere. Of course, smaller is a relative term, and these dogs stand anywhere from 24 to 32 inches. Tosa Inus originated in the 19th century and is the result of crossing the Japanese Shikoku Inu with European breeds such as the Mastiff, Old English Bulldog, St. Bernard, and German Pointers. The goal was to create a large and powerful dog capable of doing major damage during a fight. Despite their large size, these dogs are unusually quiet as Japanese dogfights called for silence from the dogs. While some dogs use a booming bark to intimidate their opponent, the Tosa Inu lets its skills speak for themselves and prefers to attack via stealth. They tend to be reserved with strangers but are fiercely loyal to their owners. Owning a Tosa Inu is illegal in many places such as Australia, Denmark, Fiji, Hong Kong, Iceland, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Basenji if you're looking for a pet guaranteed to stand out from the rest of the pack, few dogs are as unique as the Basenji. They're sometimes referred to as barkless dogs, and instead of barking, they produce a yodeling sound known as a baru. They may not appear to be as stocky and muscular as the other dogs on our list, but these fearsome dogs were bred to be able to hold their own in a fight. Basenjis have expressive faces and often able to stand on their hind legs in order to get a better look at their surroundings. Although they are fiercely intelligent, they are also notoriously stubborn and are nearly impossible to properly train. In fact, they're known to be one of the most difficult breeds to train. They have a very strong prey drive and are usually on high alert and curious about their surroundings. 
Once a Basenji sees something it wants, nothing will stop it, and they've been known to climb over even extremely high fences. They're adept at tracking their prey and going after it with a fearsome tenacity. Some people claim that they often act more like cats than dogs as they're very independent and also enjoy grooming themselves. St. Bernard Ferocious beasts can be found in any type of weather, and if you plan on making a foray somewhere cold, you'll want a St. Bernard at your side. These dogs are positively enormous and can weigh up to 260 pounds and stand at 35 inches tall. These dogs were bred to work hard in chilly conditions, and besides beasts, many of them have protected people from freezing as well. Instinctively, these dogs seek out and rescue people who have become lost in the snow or an avalanche. The name St. Bernard comes from the Great and Little St. Bernard Hospices, which was hospices located on the Great and Little St. Bernard Passes in the Western Alps. Their size comes from being bred with Mastiffs, Newfoundlands, and other large dog breeds. They have very sweet natures and love being doted on by their families. St. Bernards especially care for small children and can feel protective of their families. Although they're not known to be aggressive because of their sheer size, one bark would be enough to send most people running in the other direction. Gull Dong this breed of dog is rather rare outside of its native Pakistan. They're known as Gull Dongs or Bulldogs of Pakistan and they're renowned for their guarding skills and protective nature. These muscular dogs are typically pure white but may have a few black spots. Their chests are broad and their heads are massive, giving them a fearsome and intimidating appearance. They can grow up to 42 inches in size and weigh up to 140 pounds. Currently, some breeders are trying to dilute the inherently aggressive nature of these dogs. Although they're loyal to their humans, they can be aggressive towards other creatures and even other humans. Despite this, they're extremely dedicated and perpetually alert, which makes them ideal for guarding. They're very protective of what they perceive as their property and they aren't afraid to act quickly in case of an intruder. Gull dongs need firm and consistent training and they are fairly intelligent so tend to pick things up quickly. With proper training, these dogs can feel calmer and more able to focus on the difficult task of protecting their people and their property. His owners must have really enjoyed trying to tell 44 inches tall Great Dane Zeus to get off the sofa. When this dog stood on his hind legs, he measured an astonishing 7 feet and 5 inches long. Somehow, just knowing that all these brave dogs are out there looking out for us just makes us feel a little bit safer. Be sure to be extra sweet to your canine companion just in case you need them to back you up someday in the face of danger. For more awesome videos about dogs and other amazing animals, be sure to check out more from The Riches. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time.